Broke the tackle of Amari Henderson, and Utah State can go, go, go as well. This is where I would dial up something down the field. Tied for the national lead last year with 32 takeaways. The Aggies get their first, and Jordan Love completes his sixth in a row. Caleb Brett the ground transfer from Utah. Coverage to cover and take away the hitch. You'll see one of these receivers spin outside. Love will go long, completes it to Mariner inside the 15. There's the shot. I knew it was coming at some point. It's the clock's going to stop. Hand off right. Another broken tackle and finally wrestled down by Isang Bassi. And another first down. He is a monster of a man and a great football player, good athlete. How? Into traffic, nearly intercepted by Isang Bassi, and Bo Corrales basically had to become the defender there. This Wake Forest defense has been stingy. You know, the first two weeks of the season, but clearly when you're down 14 nothing, you got to throw the ball a little bit. We will run it here with that big body, and he took a hard hit from the senior captain, Isang Bassi. Wake Forest defense is flying all over the place. Sam Al tucks it, trying to pick up some yard, and he's saying, boom! Elon trailing by 14, gets it to Breland Cyphers, and he takes it out to the 25-yard line, picks up, actually marked as the 24. From the 25-yard line, third and 10, and that ball tips. And incomplete intended for Daughtry. Across the field, and he's got a receiver. Cole Taylor's open out wide. Now it's a long throw, but there's a lot of demon deep. We got Levy in motion. Brown. Oh, picked off. Isang Bassi, the veteran cornerback, just read that route perfectly and jumped right in front of Kobe White for the pick break right here. His eyes are on the quarterback the entire time. Breaks down at the proper angle to get that catch. Probably would have been more beneficial in terms of yard-wise to knock it down, but that's a pick in Isang Bessie's stat sheet. Now Wake Forest gets the ball on another turnover. That's two interceptions thrown by Brown today. He was recruiting him to app and convinced him. I'm sure Evan Conley felt like, well, hey, this is a coach that believes in me. I might have a chance to play. And he's getting it again. They throw to Dawkins on the near side. It was on the boundary there, but should have been another 15 tacked onto that one. From the 16-yard line. On the run. Try to get that edge as Hall. Feeded Wake Forest, number 19 in the country, in serious danger on their home field. Turn it over. And look for them to get the ball to that man. Now they're going to try to reverse a little trickery right away. Here's Matthews Blackman, the long throw, and that one is incomplete. Bassey with a good cover. Honestly, you just look at the talent on their team, what they did a year ago. I think it's, you know, somewhat unfair to Clemson in terms of how impressive they've been. One is going to give them their best shot. Right. And I think that makes it difficult week in, week out. Incomplete off the hands of Terry. And now you have a big play by your running back without it being blocked perfectly. Gain of 32. He'll throw again and complete. Knocked out of bounds. That's McKinney to tight end. Bassey denying him the end zone. Third down and three. Going to throw short. Out into the flat and caught by Wilson. Dragged down by Bassey. It's down and 10. Low snap. Scooped up and completed here. On the left side, that was complete to McDonald, the number three tight end, before he was stopped by both Bassey and Williams. But that lost a yard. Seemed to realize that that hasn't worked as effectively as they would like. Into the flat for Terry. And stopped by Bassey, who's been real active out there. He has. I think Bassey has done well. Even though he got beat on the slant and go to Terry. He's been a sure tackler tonight. Haven't been anywhere near as good. That position needs to solidify, especially for a young quarterback. Another run on second and 18. And what a vicious tackle. A huge hit by Bassey. Ball on both sides. He's unblocked. I mean, that's, that's the guy that, that you have to account for in the run game. Yeah, it was late and it was inside. You see a Mezzi turn and try to make a play on the football. This is just a redshirt fret. They got to get some push 
up front against the Demon Deacons. Gonna throw it here, and Leary's pass is knocked away. That was inside, and boy, if Bassey got his head around, he might have picked that off. Been a long rivalry, Syracuse and BC. I don't want to hear it about the Iron Bowl. I understand <laughs> it's not that. I get it, but I think it's a rivalry of broadcasters. Problem is those two turnovers early were just killer. Amezi tackled short of the line to gain by Bassey. Hooker out to Hazelton. Give him about five to set up third down. Try to be the best on the field at any given day, and Hendon Hooker starting off really well. Turner inside the 10. He'll pick up a first down. It'll be first and goal for the Hokies. So thank you, Danielle, for your service and for allowing Samoa to do so much. Terry Sweeney's got a wide open gap to run through 40. Fumbles the football. It's going to be picked up by Wake Forest. He's saying Bassey picked up the fumble, and what a job by the Deeks to run down Wheatley. That was wild, and so often you tell these running backs to know where the defender is. You tell them to look up at the Jumbotron so you can see who's following you. Well, he's running towards this end of the field that does not have the Jumbotron, and he just got caught from behind. Football Hall of Fame, and I said with Bud Foster would be a perfect uh, first one to ever do that because he's meant so much to college football. You like seeing this, don't How you? about this? There's Trey Turner. Look at that speed. Inside the 20. We had a defensive slugfest in the first half. All of a sudden, now we're going up and down the field. Exactly. They, uh, people made some half-time adjustments, I believe. Yeah, I yeah, but I you too. saw the, the unbalanced line, two wide receivers on the ball at the top of the screen, and they pulled the, the guard and tackle away from the run to get the defense's eyes going one way. And, and Coach, you know, you get the defense's eyes going another way, you hit them back the other yeah. way, the old rope-a-dope. Yeah. Really good job right there. Under him is incredible to think about. There's a quick hitter, T. Higgins. He's to the 40-yard line and picks up about six. Second down, 12. They won't use one. Here's the long throw. And on the second effort, it is going to be incomplete. Broken up by Bassey. With this, with the big 6-4 receiver, Kind of has a second effort to try to come down with it. They were worried he may not be able to go to the senior from Chico, California. Seeing action in his ninth game this season as that one is deflected to the 40-yard line. Bassey defensively on this Syracuse team. He puts in that 62 for the season now in receptions. And this one goes to Taj Harris. That would be fun to watch. That's more Howard and the folks inside the dome enjoying watching Jarvie and Howard for 11 yards. Excited about Jawar Jordan, who's being redshirted the freshman. Nice job up front, Rhino and company opening up the hole for Howard. We've seen big time situations. They've been so good, these two kickers. That's Harris who got popped. Skiba made five field goals against Florida State in that win. 22-20. The player down is Harris. Don't have. Oh. 